Hi everybody, Steve from Richard's RV Center coming to you again from Quincy, Michigan and today we've got a new floor plan from Forest River, Salem that arrived here about 30 minutes ago and it's a 29 foot rear lounge Salem fifth wheel with two slide outs. I'll show you a couple things outside and then we'll go inside. First we have an aluminum sided conventionally built trailer with wood framing but a fiberglass front cap which really dresses it up and when you do that it has an aerodynamic effect as opposed to our snub nose for towing and you can integrate the hitch lights and camp lights like these LEDs are done. Lower storage in the nose. Here's our pass through so we're in a smaller fifth wheel 30 foot range but we still have nice pass through storage and I'm going to show you a look at the rear picture window there's a look at the rear of this unit so nice picture window spare tire carrier and cover and a five inch truss for water runoff we don't have a flat roof even on a travel trailer now uh, and that really helps so water doesn't sit and can't infiltrate the coach. A couple things before we go in though. We have a power awning with LED lighting above. Outside camp speakers. And four power stabilizers. Two rear stabilizers and two front power landing gear jacks. So we call that a power package and it's a great feature on a unit of this price point that'll sell be below $25,000 on sale. We'll go inside. US 12 is noisy out there today. So uh, here's a look at the interior of this. I just plugged it in and set it up. So this is my first walkthrough as well. We've got in the slide out, main slide box, we have a conventional dinette and it's got a 40 inch storage drawer see if I can get this with one hand big plywood built storage drawer under one side storage under the other side as well and a panoramic dinette picture window very nice uh, more storage underneath the height of bed we have a five cubic foot storage drawer so we have a sofa dinette and here's a look at our rear living room aspect of this unit with um, big window in the back and um, two swivel rockers so we have a rear entry door this unit weighs 7850 pounds and uh, the right half ton can tow it or certainly light duty three quarter ton and, and larger here's our entertainment center with DVD CD AM FM stereo it's offset and angled so we can see it from the chairs and the sofa and really nice kitchen the L uh, component to this counter space really finishes it because they can then integrate lower drawers and doors in the left side and add to the counter space as well so we have a stainless steel appliance package a real nice suburban stainless steel oven in range with sealed burners and cooked up with easy pop off for cleaning knife rack in the back and uh, an igniter on the range as well so we don't need a match to light this stainless steel continues as we go up we have a microwave and range hood light and fan and a, and a um, acrylic or composite double bowl sink it's a 60 40 with a high rise very nice and important a kitchen window natural light as well oh, I'll show you the full extension we're in a inexpensive but well-built fifth wheel with fully walkable roof decking 5 8 flooring and uh, long life made for camping made for long lasting made for your family this unit can snowbird weekend or even be used as a seasonal camper 30 foot range full extension stay ball bearing drawer guides and metal as well and then upstairs I'll take you up we're in a side hallway 
And we have a queen bed master with overhead storage, shelf and storage on the left, vented escape window, a spot for a television, and no curtain or bifold door. We have a, a real pocket door wood. Here's, um, here's what finishes this unit. We've got, um, on the off door side, we have a wardrobe slide out that goes out 28 inches and houses three three sets of drawers and the two right cabinets are wardrobe with hangable and the one on the left is a shelf unit that can be used as any kind of storage but more of a dresser drawer type side aisle bathroom we have a foot pedal flush toilet and a real nice radius shower enclosure this is fairly new to us it's nice finish compared to a inexpensive cheap shower curtain and tub surround and an additional four inches skylight for anyone over six feet can fit a little bit nicer the bonus to this unit is is two things in the bathroom rather one is we have a linen closet and a lot of times we get nothing the other is and let me shut this door it's um our vanity sink storage below and to the right of the sink is about two feet of counter space with a ground fall outlet uh, for all kinds of bathroom needs but additional counter space in a bathroom is comes at a big premium usually and it's just not in a lot of our campers and this these guys have done a really good job with this we also have plank wood linoleum so certainly no carpeting up here heat run into the bathroom and the central AC for equal climate control is also run into the bathroom. Very cool. So that's a look. Here's uh, upstairs looking down. It's a beautiful great room. Rear living. Rear TV. Mid kitchen is out, way removed and out of the traffic area due to the slide out room. And very comfortable. It'll sleep six folks but it's built for two with occasional guests. Maybe the dog. I don't know. But um, anyways, that's the walk around. That's the look. And we're excited to have Salem here at both locations in Reading, Michigan and Quincy, Michigan. It's Richard's Motor Sales RV Center. I'm Steve and I appreciate your time and watching and we'll see you again soon.